And I don't care what you say, a clean grill is just going to cook better. That's just how it is. Hey guys, Smitty here with Just Peeling Barbecue. By request, uh, I've had a lot of people request for me to do a video just showing people how I clean my pellet grills. Maybe this will give you some tips and tricks and make it a little bit easier for you to clean your pellet grill. Uh, so that's what the video is going to be about today. So let's get started. All right, so step number one is to actually get yourself set up. I think this is where a lot of people run into problems and why it takes so long uh, to clean your pellet grill is because you just come out here and start cleaning and then you have to run and go get some tinfoil and then you have to run to go get a trash can and then you have to go get an extension cord and that kind of stuff. So step number one, what I do first is I get myself set up. So over here, I've got a little table uh, so that when I take my grill grates out, I've got somewhere to put them. Uh, I don't have to put them on the ground or anything like that. I can set them on that table. I don't have to worry about my table getting dirty. It's just an old table that I made. So I've got a little table over here. I've got a trash can so that I can put anything that I need to put in a trash can over there and that. Uh, I've got some Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes, any kind of wipe that you want to use, use those but I've got those handy. I've got a brush, I've got a scraper, and I have my shop vac. And so all of these things I've already got set up uh, to get ready to clean my grill. Also, I've already, I cover my drip tray in tinfoil. Now, if you have drip tray covers, use that as well, have that ready. But I go ahead and pull off a sheet of tinfoil and just lay it over my handle. That way I've got it right there uh, when I need it so it's ready to go uh, and some gloves I need to get some gloves you don't have to use them but it's a good idea it makes cleanup a lot easier so I'm gonna grab some gloves and then uh, we're gonna get started all right so step number one is get your you get yourself set up and get everything ready that you're gonna need step number two before you even go into the internals of the grill the first thing I like to do because I don't want to forget it is to check whatever kind of grease trap system that you have go ahead and check it check the grease level see if you need to dump that um, mine was almost full now i'm uh going to use this traeger ironwood 885 as an example that's what i'm cleaning today and it uses a drip can system and my drip can was pretty full so i went ahead and dumped it now i use uh, the drip can liners you don't have to uh, but this makes cleanup a lot easier. Otherwise, before I started using these, after I dumped it a couple of times, I would take it in the house with some hot water and some soap, clean it out real good, and bring it back out. But now I use these. These are a little bit expensive, I'm not going to lie to you, but I only have to throw these away maybe every month or month and a half, something like that. I don't know. But it's not like every time I clean my grill, I have to use another one. So I've already cleaned my grease can put a new liner in it and it's ready to go. Go ahead and put it back on. Okay, the other thing that I do is I'll go ahead and check my hopper, uh, make sure it's got enough pellets in it and that kind of thing. So I'll go ahead and check it. And it's about half full. And the last time that it got low, I vacuumed out any sawdust and that kind of stuff out of it. Uh, so it's good to go. So now we can get into the internals of the grill. And here's where cleaning it a couple of times, I learned from some of my mistakes so I can pass them on to you. Uh, used to, I'd go ahead and take everything out and clean everything and then start putting it back in. But when I start putting my grill grates back in, I would realize I forgot to clean my grill grates off first. Now is the time you want to clean your grill grates off so that all of this stuff falls on the old lining of your uh, grease tray and uh and then when you tear all that stuff off put new on you're not messing up the new so we're going to do that now all right now i've got a silicone brush here and i've also got a wooden traeger scraper and i'm going to utilize both of them but first i'm going to clean this top rack and i'm going to clean the top part first but i also go underneath the bottom and get any of those little tags that are hanging off the bottom Go ahead and get that really good. All that stuff is dropping on the bottom grate and on the drip tray. And then I can go ahead and take it out. 
remove it. Set that on my table. And then I can clean the bottom grate. Now the bottom grate is a little nastier and it's got some harder stuff to get off of. So that's where my scraper comes in. And I can scrape the top first. Get all that hard stuff off. Then I'll come back with my brush. And I would recommend not wearing some good clothes when you're doing this. Then I can take it, pull it off and flip it over. And get that stuff off the bottom too. And I mean, this is not all going to come off, but it's going to be a lot better than when you started, that's for sure. Now we'll put this on our table that we already had set up. All right, so now we got our grill grates clean and we've got those removed. Now we're going to remove the drip tray. And so we're going to move the drip tray. Now look at that. Now evidently the last time I cooked on this, I used something with some sugars in it because that's what it's going to look like uh, on top of your drip tray. This is one reason why we have the trash can set up right here because I can go straight to the trash can. Make sure your tinfoil don't fall away by the wind. And I can peel it off and it goes straight into the trash can. Just like that. And then I use my trash can as a little table so that I can put my new tin foil on. And I'm just going to line it up. Find the edge over here and kind of fold it. And then flip it over. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just trying to get it to where it's going to pretty much cover this drip tray. Now this ironwood has a weird shaped drip pan, so it's not going to cover absolutely everything on it. But there's my drip tray covered. And now we're going to go to the internals and check it out. All right, now for some of you that don't know, what are we actually going to clean in here? Well, first we need to take out this heat deflector. Okay. Put that on our table. And first we want to get a look around. Is there any grease down here that's dripped past our drip tray? Not really. There's a little bit of stuff that we scraped off, but that's going to be vacuumed out. Uh, you, basically, what we just have in here is ash. Uh, all this stuff is ash. We've got ash in our fire pot. We've got some ash here. And I have done two briskets uh, since I cleaned this one out. So that's why there's a good bit of ash in here. So probably 20 hours worth of cooks. Um, I do have a little bit of grease in my grease uh, tray right here and I could probably get something and scrape some of that out and scrape it down into my grease tray And I'll vacuum a little bit of that too. I usually vacuum vacuum all of these Little uh, areas where the shelves go to just to get that sawdust out So I'm looking for two things one. I'm looking for grease. That's the main thing you don't want grease in here The only thing that you want inside your grill that you want to be catching fire is those pellets uh, The only other thing that's going to be in here that would catch fire would be grease so any grease that you have in here, you want to get it out. Um, I recommend not using chemical cleaners. I usually just get a, a couple of paper towels and wipe it a couple of times until it's pretty much dry. There's going to be some residue. And then I'll take some of this ash and sprinkle over the top of that grease, just like you would uh, in your garage, for example, when you're using oil dry. Let it dry, soak in for a few minutes and then you can scrape it down, vacuum it out with your shop vac 
and then you're done with the grease. You don't have to worry about that anymore. So at this point, I like what I'm seeing. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum out everything really good, and then I'll bring you back. All right guys, so this is what it looks like after I have vacuumed it out. Now this is just your basic cleaning. This is not like a deep cleaning where I'm wiping off everything in here. Although I'm inspecting it, there's nothing that really looks, you know, uh, like it needs touching up. I mean, this is a smoker, okay? But a lot of guys get confused with, you're just cleaning off all the seasoning on your grill. Well, grease and grime is not seasoning. Good smoke patina is a seasoning, and that's what we have in here. I did scrape this off as well. I didn't show that, but I scraped that off, let it go down into my drip tray, and I also vacuumed that out. So we're good to go. So now we just need to go back and reassemble everything, and then tend to the outside a little bit. All right, so let's get everything back in here first. We're gonna go with our heat deflector. Put it in. Make sure it's seated right. Then we're gonna go in with our Drip tray that's nice and covered, ready to go for the next cook. Make sure that it seats in there properly. Nice and sturdy and it's not going anywhere. The gap on the back is even with the gap on the front. We're good to go with that. Gonna go back in with my grill rack. I like putting it on the bottom. This iron wood, you can put it on the very bottom or you can put it up here, but I like it on the very bottom for the most part. And then we'll put in our top rack. And this top rack, you can put it up front or you can slide it more to the back. If you're gonna be cooking more stuff on the bottom, you can slide it to the back and get it out of the way. So everything on the inside is clean. Now let's tend to the outside. Now for the outside, I just give it a once over. That's why I like these wipes. They really do the job. I got some grime and stuff like that on the uh, shelf. So I'm going to clean the shelf off, give it a good wipe down. Make sure everything's nice and clean. Make sure the old just peeling stickers clean. The handle, make sure that your handle's clean, but really and truly if you're thinking about it while you're cooking, you've got one hand gloved and one hand not, so you're not cross-contaminating your, your lid. I'm going to take this down because sometimes you get some stuff dripping down here. And again, I'm not being super meticulous with this. But 
but whatever I see, I white. I mean. And all that looks pretty good. I'm gonna wipe down my lid and my side shelf real good, along with the hopper. And that's gonna be it. I will say ordinarily I will have a regular rag out here too, dry or paper towels. Just to go back over this and dry it off because sometimes Depending on which wipes you use, they will streak when they dry, and I don't really like the streaks. So I'll dry it off with a dry rag or wet paper towel. That looks good. I mean, look at that. Now the outside of your grill, it really doesn't matter what it looks like. It's not gonna affect the flavor of the food, but it sure makes me feel better. When it's nice and clean, kind of like your car. When you're a teenager and you're going out on a date and you get that old car shined up. Just makes you feel better when you hit the town. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's my process right there. Now, I filmed this video while I was doing this. And it didn't take, I mean, we haven't been out here maybe 20 minutes. I don't know. And that's with me filming. Uh, thanks to my beautiful white brand back there. Um, but I mean, now here's the finished product. Y'all saw what it looked like before. This is what it looks like after. And I don't care what you say, a clean grill is just gonna cook better. That's just how it is. So uh, leave me a comment in the description box below how you clean your grill if you do anything different. Let me know if this was helpful. Um, and now that I've got a clean grill, I'm probably fixing to throw something on there. So uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram as well. And uh, until next time, we'll be piddling. See you guys.